Uh, are we done yet? Nope, but we're there yet. Welcome back to Jack 2, everybody. So let's figure out what our next assignment is. Scouts report movement in Dead Town. Creatures moving toward the sacred site, just as before. What happened, uh, before? Metalheads broke through the old city wall. We fought them, but then the Baron pulled back, leaving everyone outside the new barrier to die. Only the Shadow stayed and somehow stopped the attack. And now you expect us to go out there again? You catch on fast. If you prevent the Metalheads from reaching the sacred site, the Shadow will be most grateful. He might even ask to see you. Hey, I'm probably wasting this, but here's a Vulcan barrel for that pea shooter of yours. Believe me, you're gonna need it. All right, so we get a new gun in the process. We now have the Vulcan barrel, which is just basically heavy machine gun, which is not good for Drac because he likes to waste ammo. <laughs> All right, so we now have our new assignment. We need to go save the sacred site. We don't know what that means exactly, but we're about to find out. And somehow you're really beaten up now. Yep. What can I say? I had a bad day traffic-wise. Got a wanted level, you know, just can't avoid it sometimes. And there's our Vulcan barrel, but I'm not going to waste it on these guys. I think, is this the first time we're seeing these little guys? No, I don't think so. No. I think we've seen them before. This one will introduce a new metalhead, but... Oh, I remember which metalhead this introduces. Oh, and they're pains. How oh, much of a pain. Big pain. Very, very big pain. <laughs> That was not worth the metalhead skull. Okay. Well, I guess if you were me, you would be worth it. Uh, not when we get to meet these guys. That is the... If you can see off in the distance that tall standing one, that's the new one. And it's because it actually has a weapon. Because see, it likes to throw bombs at me! But I'm going to kill it first. Because I hate the bombs. Oh man, I have such low health. And now I have to deal with two of them! This game hates me. I probably went a little reckless on that one. Now I can't use the Vulcan Barrel. Because I'll run out of ammo. Let me guess, ammo's hard to come by with it. For the Vulcan, yes. Unless the mission actually requires you to use it, you barely get any ammo for it. Yeah, get used to using the shotgun and the rifle parts, because they're the ones that you get the most ammo for. Um, there will be missions where the Vulcan will be required, as well as one other gun we're going to get. Um, but it's so few and far between, there it's not worth using them. Alright, and here's another new metalhead. One that likes to fire more consecutively. It looked like it killed one of its own. It might have. Metalheads don't care. Ooh, yay, the Vulcan killed it. But I ran out of ammo. The other thing I like is that you actually do see the shells hit the ground. So that's a really cool effect. Oh look, more metalhead goblins. Stupid shooting section. Oh, and here's a new friend. Oh, we took care of him, so that's not a problem. 
and right around the corner is another one. And I'm out of ammo! I had to take the hit. You know, one of these times I'm actually going to see Daxter fly off my shoulder because of the gun. It's going to be very satisfying. Except if Daxter dies in the night, get killed because of it. That would suck. Okay, we are actually nearing the end of the level and into the sacred site. But as people can tell, I am a death because of these guys! I hate them so much. Bye. Alright, now that we've cleared those guys, let's go forward. Oh, what's this? Is that... is that... No, it couldn't be. That's not... It's... Samos' hut. But what? How? When? Where? Why? We're in the future, Dax. This horrible place is our world. Dun dun dun! dun. Wow, who didn't see that coming? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, come on! Let's go back to the city. All right, back to the city we go. So, yes, we are in a dark future. And by dark future, I don't mean like a, a parallel reality. This is the future of Jack's world. And did you die there? I did, because I was trying to take a shortcut. Let's go back to the city. Because I got sick and tired of Daxter telling me to go back to the city. Okay, you see those blue flips right there? Those are Vulcan barrel ammo. Again, few and far between. Oh, yay, I got 40. That'll work. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I think we need to go back to the city, Jack. Shut up, Daxter. We get it. We gotta go back to the city. Just before Daxter says, this is going to be the, the episode that drives Drac nuts because Daxter won't shut up. Can't go back to the city, Jack. Here, why don't you go back to the city, Daxter, so we don't have to hear you? No. If I have to endure a lot of crap, then, uh, then Daxter has to go right along with me. Let's go back to the city. I love it. I've actually received commentary saying, you... You hate Daxter a lot, don't you? Yeah, I kind of do. He's a comedy relief character. I mean, there's not really much to say about him. If he actually had a defining moment where he got to be the hero, maybe I'd like him more. I don't know. But the problem is, is that comedy relief characters tend to come off a bit annoying for me. Oh, oh yay. Okay, so now we are... At the entrance. Run away. I don't want to deal with metalheads. Shut up, Daxter! <sighs> Back in Haven City. It's good to see you still alive. Even though we're trying to kill you, it's good to see you alive. That way we get the opportunity. Okay, Finally, so... now we get to see the shadow. What do you gotta do around this place to get noticed? Uh, obvious, obviously, Daxter, we have to do everything we've been doing to get noticed. Alright. And here comes the big reveal. decided it's time to meet you. Why is that place in the old ruins so important to you? 
There's a powerful energy force at the old house. The metalheads are drawn to it. No kidding. We used to know the guy that lived there. So, you're the new recruits who keep getting into trouble. Oh, no, not you! Welcome to our humble underground movement. I am known as the Shadow, but you may call me Samos. And you are? Jeez, Jack, we went through all that to meet His Holiness, Old Log in the Head, Grandpa Green? Don't you know who we are? Sorry, kid, never seen you before. And I never forget a face, especially one that ugly. So it begins. How is this possible? We came through the rift with you. I into the future, right? Yeah! You used to look older than dirt and uglier than a knotted stump. What gives? Did you get a little nip and tuck while we were gone? Listen, boys, I don't know what kind of twigs you've been chewing on, but I don't have time for this. We've got a baron to overthrow, a child heir to protect, an invasion of metalheads to stop, and a city to save. I'd say the schedule's pretty full. Besides, I haven't gone through any rifts. I hate teleporting. Sure sounds like the old Samos. Right now, I need you to go to Haven Forest and root out a few metalheads. That forest is my source of power, but I can't protect it much longer. Chase down and destroy all the metalhead scouts you find there. Good luck, and welcome to the fight. What a twist! Yes, we get to meet future Samos, who doesn't know who we are, and apparently likes the Hitler mustache. It's a little weird. All right, so off to our next mission. We now get to unlock Haven Forest. And I believe we've never gone there yet. I think so. I think this is the first time we actually go to Haven Forest. Wow, the jet board's ours! I call shotgun. Oh, look, it's the Tony Hawk Pro Skater mechanic. We get to have it permanently now. Joy. All right, so we're out into Haven City. Around the Haven Forest. And this is where the source of power for Samos is. So we gotta go help him out. And the way we help him out... Oh yes, so this is how you get to Haven Forest. This is the ruins. Nice music. Yes, I like the, the music for the ruins. Yes, that's it. Okay, so we've got to go kill five metalheads out here. But now we have an easier source of transportation because we have board. the jet board. He's and... on a hoverboard! I know, right? Da 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 so the goal of this mission is very simple. We have to kill these dragon-like metalheads that never show up again. And the way we kill them? It's very retro. I'll tell you that much. You don't have to run into them, I hope. No, or, not run into them. Or run, make them run against the wall. No, no, no. We don't have to do that at all. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, we get to fight with a stick. No, actually, we just gotta jump on their head. Oh. How very Mario. Alright, so that's one down. Yeah, we're in the part of the game now where a lot of missions are dependent on the jet board. Just because, I guess, Naughty Dog thought that was a really cool mechanic they built. And so they're like, okay, we want to build missions around it. Sigh. Oh, there's our next metalhead, buddy. And gee, with the way Drac pilots the hoverboard, you'd almost think he couldn't skateboard or something. And you'd be right. I can't skateboard. Hey, bro, you skate? No. Mm. Yay, long chase segments. I'll just follow it. There we go. Come here so I can pop you on the noggin. 
My feet are lethal weapons! There we go. You're dead now. And only three more to go! <sighs> now, I will say this new area, Haven Forest, is pretty looking. Okay. It does look really, really good for a forest level. I'm surprised it works well on water! Yes, it works well on water, but not lava. As we'll find out later. There we go! Two left! Ah, 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 ah! This is not Castlevania. No more count jokes. There are two! Two more metal heads left! Yes, this is not Castlevania because it is not a horrible night to have a curse. Was he your favorite character on Sesame Street then? The count. Not my favorite, but obviously, like, in, in my adult life, he's the most referenceable. Yeah, I guess that's true. I was actually one of the weird kids that, that when watching Sesame Street. I liked Austin, Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, he was always a great one. That was just because he was the odd man out, really. Like, you had Bert and Ernie at that time. You had, um... Oh, I can't remember his name now. Uh, Grover. We didn't have a whole lot of the Muppets that that I think now are on Sesame Street. And I think they just barely retired either Big Bird or Snuffle Up, I guess. Wow, we are doing a major walk down memory lane, aren't we? Aren't we just doing that? Now I can't stand Sesame Street, but... Oh well, yeah, because you grow out of it. Not only do you grow out of it, but Elmo hit the or Elmo's craze hit, and I was I'm not a fan of Elmo. Elmo drives me nuts. I'm just surprised that out of any of those characters, Elmo is like the one that is like in the toy line for everything. I know, because like I still remember that one year in Christmas where the Tickle Me Elmo was the most popular item to get. It pissed me off because I'm like, who likes Elmo? I didn't like. I never liked Elmo. Elmo bugged me, especially cur the current day Elmo, which uh, likes to preach to you. I, I think I've already said this on another LP. But like, if when I actually have kids, they will never have access to Sesame Street, and it's just because of what I think Sesame Street has become. I'll give them good cartoons like Transformers and G.I. Joe. They'll grow up on what I grew up on, dang it. What? Apparently I'm alone on this matter. I'm just waiting to see when you're done finding these stupid dragons. Uh, we got one more to find. So, I think he's out in this area. You wish you had a map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. And you like Dora the Explorer. No, I just like the College Humor video of her. Oh, yeah. The uh, action movie trailer for Dora, Ex Dora the Explorer, the movie. I'm surprised they made it look so real like. Dora, watch out behind you! It's Swiper! Where's Swiper? Can you see Swiper? Was so bad. <laughs> or the other one I like was the dorkly uh, Frozen ripoff. Do you want to fight a hell spawn? You could have cut a lot of this out. <laughs> yes, but everybody had to endure my pain. Like another game we know. Now, I think it's, it's just one of those points where I haven't come across that one area that it's perching, so I think this is around where I found it. I might be wrong. Nope. Over here? No! Where are you, you stupid dragon metal head? Did 
This is incorrigible. Why is one metalhead so hard to find? I hate these kinds of questing games where the last one is like in the most remote area you could think of and then you can't find him. It's official. We are playing Shadow the Hedgehog now. <laughs> this yes. game is Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, for the most part. Except you don't get a good or bad ending. The one game that has anyone wanted to tackle on trying to get all the secret endings? No. I've gotten all the secret endings. I can't say I've done all, like, 200 different paths, but you have to unlock every ending before you can take on the final ending. I guess that's true. So you actually saw all the secret endings, though. Yeah, I mean, I... Yeah, because I think there's only, like, ten different endings. Oh, there he is! What the crap? He was right there! <laughs> Ah! And for some reason, I can't grind properly. Dang you, Tony Hawk Pro Skater mechanics! Ah! Ugh. See, this is why this mechanic doesn't work in this game! Yes, I get it, guys. Tony Hawk Pro Skater was popular when this game came out. I get it. Was it, though? I mean, even by 2000s? Uh, this was around the time when Tony Hawk's Underground was out, so I I know of a lot of friends who love that game, of all of them. Uh, this, this hasn't been the... where we got to the level of fail that was Tony Hawk Ride and the skateboard controller. Oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. We're done. <laughs> it took you longer to find it. Than to kill it, yes. Excellent work, boys. Come on back to the hideout. I have another task for you. Shut up, Samos! Ugh, do your own dirty work. It's Samos. He'll never do his own dirty work. We learned this already. He's the he's the sage of Green Eco, and he couldn't go free up Green Eco plants so that they could grow. No, he had to make us go do it. Although he did give us a power cell. So, can't really blame them for that. Alright, back to the ruins we go. And back to the portal. Because we have to start thinking with portals. And these random tangents have been brought to you by... The letter P. For pissed off! The letter P. Jump through the portal. Back into Haven City we go. And he likes to jog in place. He does. But this is something from the first game, so we're 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 allowing it. Seal off the area. Alright, grab a car, grab a car, don't grab a cop. Don't grab a cop car. Don't do that. What happens if you grab a cop car? Instant wanted level. But you can fire his guns. It's fun. Alright, back to the shadow. I want you boys to escort the kid over to Core at the power station. He promised to look out for the boy, and I'm just too busy to babysit right now. Oh, and take the kids... Crock a dog with you. No, he isn't. He's sweet. <laughs> so, what's this kid's story? I found him just wandering the streets, but that amulet around his neck means he may just be the lost heir to the city. Take the kid and the mutt to the power station. Watch out for guard patrols and defend the kid at all costs. Oh, and uh, if you happen to lose the crock a dog. Hey, kid! Wait! Come back! We gotta protect them! All right, and we're actually gonna do this mission next time. Oh, an escort mission. Exactly. That's why we're taking a break.